My Hero is getting a Netflix live action movie? Well, sort of. After the disaster of Cowboy Bebop, fans are right to be nervous, but there is some reason for hope here. It's time for the latest news. Outs of Japan. The internet is abuzz with talk about Netflix making a My Hero Academia live action movie. It's got a lot of baked in fan judgment. The anime community hasn't forgiven Netflix for the grandiose disaster of last year's live action Cowboy Bebop. Before that, We've seen the Americanized version of Death Note and two extremely low-budget Full Metal Alchemist films. While Bleach and the Rurouni Kenshin films have been better received, they haven't helped redeem the brand to casual viewers. Most fans are already assuming this adaptation will be a disaster. An impressive feat without so much as a casting announcement or trailer. However, it might be worth holding out some hope for this one. Netflix aren't the ones who make Netflix original content. They finance outside agencies to do that. And they've got a strong partner here. Legendary Pictures are the one handling production of the My Hero movie, having secured the rights back in 2018. Legendary has an extremely good reputation for working with Japanese media. They're the company behind the Western Godzilla films, Pacific Rim Uprising, and Detective Pikachu. They've also worked with Netflix directly in the past on the well-received Enola Holmes movies. They've shown themselves capable of creating strong content for the streaming market. As has the director. This is Shinsuke Sato's English language debut, but it's not his Netflix debut. Anyone who has watched Alice in Borderland should be familiar with his work. He's tried his hand at live action anime adaptations in the past. Bleach, Gaunts, and a sequel to Death Note light up the world. Whatever you might think of these versions, they're a firm step up from the Full Metal Alchemist live action movies. One Warner Brothers Japan produced as a celebrity vanity project and Netflix simply bought the rights for. That's both a production company and a director who have had some real success in the past. There's a lot of reason to be hopeful here, but one serious reason for doubt. Why is this a movie? Prestige television would make sense. The anime was a showcase for shorter shonen seasons. It'd be easy to adapt to that model. But My Hero Academia doesn't lend itself well to a theatrical runtime. There's simply no easy, movie-ready climax point. Its own animated movies have all focused on original stories rather than manga material. There are a few ways this could go. We might see a movie like Death Note, a loose retelling of My Hero's story with Legendary's own spin put on it. While fans are not going to be enthusiastic, it might be the least bad option. Technically, we could see a relatively straight adaption of Season 1, but that feels unlikely. The USJ incident ends with the focus on All Might versus the Nomu rather than Deku. A movie production is unlikely to let their star get second billing, which leads us to the third worst outcome. Just as we saw in Full Metal Alchemist, this would be an abridged production, skimming over as much material as possible to max out fan service beats for the trailer. Imagine a version of My Hero that welds the USJ attack, the fight with Stain, the forest training camp, and hideout raid into an under two hour film. Let's hope. Legendary proves better than that. Regardless, we'll be here, bringing you all the latest news. Outs of Japan.